In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host your course for free in system.io. So system.io is really, really generous for its free plans where not only are you able to set up like free sales funnel with your custom domain, your own domain, right? Like junlu.co, right? You can also uh, automate sending email campaigns to your leads as well as you can host courses and membership for free. So if let's say I have not signed up for the free account, feel free to sign up at the link that I put it right here or in the description box down below. And also because now I'm teaching you guys on how to set up the courses, I also set up a free course for free um, in system.io so that I can know how you can you know how to use, learn how to use the system.io from A to Z, All right? So now, uh, I'm in, actually in the system.io dashboard. I'm going to uh, hover over to product and sales in system.io. So when you're there, I want you guys to go to courses. Okay, we are going to create a course. So uh, now I want you, you to add a new course in system.io. So a uh, free course on how to use system.io to create free landing page send emails and free courses right so if let's say you guys want to know more about me you can go to my website junlo.co so language is english so same thing as here you can actually have the um put in the email here uh sorry not the email put in the url path that you want free landing page example so uh, the course domain, I only have one course domain. So uh, system.io allows you to set up your domain. So if let's say you have not watched a previous tutorial, it's pretty easy. Just hover to the profile, go to settings. And then inside settings, there is one place where you, I want you to hover over to domain. All right, hover over to the custom domain and you can just edit this naming or add your own do custom domain over here, all right? So this is just to show you guys how to change over here. And this is this is the path, the URL path that you can change very easily. All right, the theme, there are a few theme, uh, which is the color, um, the theme of your course you can choose. So let me just pick something black, okay? So fonts, uh, that's where you can adjust as far as instructor name, that is junlo.co. You can insert the course a logo over here and to choose a specific image very easily uh, once you've done that uh, i want you guys to choose a sales page so for now uh, perhaps you have not created your sales page at all so do not worry about this because we can actually create the membership first now and then only we connect it back to the sales page later on so once you have done that scroll to the top in system.io and hit on save so now we want to design the entire module of system.io and if let's say you guys can see here is the how you are able to add module and this is just preview on how the module will uh how you are able to see uh the membership looks like so now we are going to add module all right so this module is called maybe welcome to the free training by junlo.co all right and then we are going to hit save so once you have a module already, that's when you can start adding the lectures. All right. First, um, sign up free account in system.io. Um, so what is this like delay after previous lecture? So if let's say um, you want your students to be able to watch all the lectures, right? All the training at one go, you can, you just can put zero or unless you, there is a certain delay, like maybe today you want them to watch a certain videos. Um, the later on the videos are not available for them until they watch the current video. That's where you can put on the delay over here. Okay. So, and then just pick a template that you love. So I love this uh, video uh, followed by wording. Just hit on save. All right, the designer here is pretty straightforward. So what you need to do is that uh, whenever that is this video, you just hover over to this video, look for the gear sign on the top right in system.io, and then click on the gear sign and then just link it to the YouTube links that you want to bring it, bring them to, all right? Otherwise, you can also have a custom embed, like uh, maybe you host your videos in somewhere else, other software, and then you custom embed it, or you can, can also upload the file over here. So. Uh, directly it's pretty simple 
and then you can choose um, whether the video will be auto replay or no and you can also show the control of the video to your uh, to your students as well right so all these are the ed editor of related to the video and let's say you want to uh, just edit uh, info over here you can always drag and drop the element here okay so these are the elements that you have available <clears throat> i think the most commonly used will be headline this is the headline right you can drag and drop very easily you can drag and drop headline uh, you have a bullet listing you can drag and drop so because i don't want it i just delete it okay and then i will further delete this box and i'll further delete this box the other one that i i think you guys will be using quite a lot would be button uh, let's try button so once you have tried the button you can drag and drop here for example i'm just going to drag it here all right and double click this that's where you can decide what the button will do so the button can then either complete a lecture and move on to the next or you want them to open a new url so you can just type in the url here of where you want them to open so this is just an example and then uh, you may want to open in a brand new window when they click on this um, button to open a new page right and then you can just make adjustment to here all this and you can adjust the top margin and bottom and also the color of the button you can adjust down right here okay uh, oh i think this is the bottom color i think that's a shadow color okay the color should be here the background color so let us pick another color yep here you go it's pretty simple so once you have fully designed this page uh you want to insert image just drag an image over here and let's say once done and you want to see how it looks like you can click this eye view uh you need to log in don't worry too much about it it's because uh, once you have logged in and once you add yourself as a student and once you are able to log in you'll be able to see how the views look like so that's not the focus but later on we will actually get back to here on how to check this out okay so let us go back to the editor and hit on save changes okay once you have done um, i want you to continue adding a lot more lecture and tutorial so for example um, the module will be the bigger it's something like a section and then inside this section you have like a sub sections right that is where they call it lecture so if let's say you want to continue adding in this big module you can continue adding the lecture right so this is a second lecture let's see um, i'll just maintain it as a same uh, design all right, you can then continue um, make changes to this second lecture and let's say I make changes already I will just exit and let's say right now I want to create a brand new module what you need to do is just to click add new module module 2.0 uh, click on save so go to the same thing as you can see over here they actually uh, when you click this arrow down below it will show these two lectures that are created that's in the module one and this is a module two because there is no lecture at all so that's why i'm going to hit on click lecture so this is like 2.1 let's say same thing you are just going to continue editing it okay so this is the same steps of what i uh, shown you guys so you can continue editing it and continuing adding new module and then new chapters all right so once you have done that this is pretty much your courses is kind of ready do you guys remember just now like we want to see how um, the membership looks like and then but then we need to be a student first right so very easy now we are going to add student okay so i'm just going to add myself as student uh junlo.co um and i'm just going to have like a full access and click on save so after you have given your student the full access to the course then system.io will prompt you to log in again and to let you check how the course will look like and most of the time now this is my page you'll be seeing why there is no lecture yet right so i'm logged in right now to this free course but then that there, there is no lecture yet so if let's say you are seeing this prompt no worries at all because you are missing the last step all right the last step will be i need you to go back to the system.io all right go back to the courses 
all right go back to the free course that you want now i want you to click on this click publish button in the in the lecture that you have already fixed so so let's say i already i'm okay with the edits of this sign up free account in system.io i'm just going to click this publish button okay so i'm going to activate this lecture confirm and i'm going to do so for the next lecture as well as well as yeah i think i'm fine so now let us go back to the course and see how it looks like hit on refresh to here yes and now you'll start seeing the courses that you already activate so that's the reason that if let's say you are seeing no lectures in system.io please do not worry it's just because you have not published that in your course which you have to ensure that you actually click this button to click publish in order to have that course appeared in your course all right and every time once you've edited the lecture and let's say you want to see how it looks like you can hover over to this uh, preview lecture page okay when you click this preview lecture page it will let you see how your students will actually view it okay so that you don't have to lock in the courses yourself because um, from the lectures here they have this button called preview lecture page to let you see how it looks like so i hope that this uh, video of the uh, courses in uh, how to set up courses in system.io um, for free can help you guys so if let's say you want to add more students you can just hit on this add students button uh, first name last name, and email all right and then if let's say you want to see your student listing you can actually click the students all right and then just at uh, see who is actually your students inside this course so i will see you in the next tutorial of system.io all right take care bye